Adobe is magical and it's magical for a lot of different reasons. Its first, you know, unique and remarkable characteristic is that it's everywhere. A huge proportion of the world's population lives in earthen structures, maybe something like 40%. It has kind of amazing thermal characteristics. I like to say that it's like the world's first and oldest high-tech building material. But the most important constituent in Adobe construction, clay, is like this super magical material that can do all sorts of funny stuff. It's used for waterproofing, to line landfills, kitty litter. My name is Ben Losher. I'm an architect. I'm the president of the Earth Builders Guild. I am on the board of Adobe in Action, which is a nonprofit that tries to create housing for disadvantaged uh, people and communities. And then I'm the founder of uh, Adobe is Not Software to educate and enable Adobe construction here in California. We're sitting here in Pioneer Town, and I can point at a dozen adobe buildings that are within a quarter mile of here, but I can't point at anybody who knows how they were built, right? So that knowledge, which was here just a generation ago, is now gone. I think it's really important to educate people about it. People associate it almost exclusively with the mission period, and that's kind of nuts. It's wrong. It's a very modern material. It's been used in the case study houses. We think of these as iconic, modern, you know, examples of modern architecture. My goal has always been, you know, to try and, and enable Adobe construction in California. One part of that is really reforming the building code around it. But the Masonry Society, which is a trade organization that represents conventional masonry, concrete block, fired brick, turns out I end up having to fight with these guys to preserve Adobe in the code at all. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I hadn't been there that Adobe just would have fallen out of the building code entirely, it would have vanished from the building code that's adopted by all 50 states. That would be sort of the end. If you discount the negative impacts of having a lot of embodied energy, the cheapest, easiest thing is to import a ton of lumber and concrete from faraway places, regardless of you know what its carbon impact is. If we're concerned about climate change, if we're concerned about the impact that construction has on the greater environment, maybe the simpler solution is to use materials that are immediately at hand and don't require all of like these gimmicks and widgets in order to bring them here the dirt that makes earthen walls rammed earth adobe cob whatever it's like immediately beneath our feet i'm going back to And there are some things about Adobe that, that have sort of enchanted and entrapped me and turned me into a bit of an evangelist. 